Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and thank you so much for joining us today on this segment Under the Microscope. Today we're going to change the format. We're going to try to go deeper with more focus and more intensity into a very important subject, and that is wellness and resiliency on our campus. We have the great pleasure today of being joined with Dr. Sasha Shilkut. Sasha is a member of our Department of Anesthesiology and tells a great story about her personal journey and all of the lives that she's touched as a result of focusing on this area. I got to my hotel room late at night and I was very exhausted and tired and I actually was walking past a mirror in the hotel room and dragging my suitcase and I saw myself in the mirror and I didn't recognize this sad person who I felt looked nothing like what I had envisioned myself to be when I was an associate professor of anesthesiology. And I went back to my hotel room and I had a really frank conversation with myself. And I decided that um, while I, I needed to find the joy again in medicine and that I needed to actually um, connect with other physicians to do that. So I started a small group, a text group actually with 10 women that I would text and encourage them and then it just kind of exploded into a Facebook group where there are now about 7,000 women physicians. And I administer that group and it's probably one of the best things that I've done in my career is to encourage and empower other women who have similar struggles and are hearing a similar uh, platform of, um, hey, this is going on at my work, is this normal, how can I, how can I overcome this problem? How can I face this challenge? I had no idea that how I was feeling, thousands of other women were feeling in medicine. Because it's so easy for us, I think, to let our relationships with others go when we just focus on our work and our family. And it just falls by the wayside. But the nice thing about an online networking and an online, basically, doctor's lounge is the ability to go to that place when you it's feasible for you and yet what we have found is that there's common themes and there's when you are maybe having a rough time or a problem that you don't know how to address someone else has already had that experience knows how to write that letter or knows how to get on this committee or knows how to overcome imposter syndrome or give you tips for work life in a, you know how to hire the right nanny or whatever it is i feel that i have now found my passion in medicine and um, I love teaching residents and fellows and doing cardiac anesthesia. I love taking care of patients, but what was missing was that, for me, that kind of um, knowing that I had found my niche and knowing that what I was doing was really meaningful. Once I did that, I met women from all different specialties, from all different institutions. I have written papers with them. I've co given talks on panels with them. I have made friendships. It's just, it's really boosted my um, ability to connect with others, but it's also boosted my academic career and I think it's made me a better physician. Thank you, Sasha. Thanks for telling your story and for inspiring so many others in this critically important area of wellness and resiliency. We'll keep revisiting this issue in the future. Well, I hope that all of you enjoyed this segment and enjoyed this new format. If you have ideas of other areas that we can focus more deeply, let us know, let me know. Until next time, thanks so much for joining us on this Under the Microscope.